Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Fahad Ahmed and you are watching Rifat Sasan Pakwan. Today we will be making a super quick and easy banana bread. It comes together in no time and requires only a few ingredients. To get started, I have a cup of brown sugar over here. I'm using light brown sugar today, but I prefer using dark brown sugar. This is what I had at home and this is what I'm using in this recipe. To the brown sugar, we're going to add half a stick of butter. This is about 57 grams. Now I'm going to add a third of a cup of yogurt. I'm using full fat yogurt. Please don't use any flavored or sweetened yogurt because that will mess up the texture and the flavor of your banana bread. I am using a hand mixer for this recipe. You can use a whisk, but it'll take far too long for everything to be well incorporated using a hand whisk. With the electric beaters, just make sure that you mix it in for about four to five minutes. You have to make sure that it's well aerated before you add in the next ingredients. I've been mixing this up for about four to five minutes. It's well incorporated and well aerated at this point. Now we're going to go ahead and add two large eggs. Mix it in. Once you add in the eggs, the mixture might split. This is completely normal. Just keep going. It will come together in the end. Now I'm going to put this bowl to a side and work on my dry ingredients. We'll start with a cup and a quarter of all purpose flour. To this, I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of baking soda. Please don't use baking powder, that's completely different. Now we'll add in a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Give this a quick shake. You want to make sure that you're sifting your ingredients because they do tend to clump up. Now we'll combine our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. You want to make sure that you're doing it in additions. If you add it all at once, it might overwhelm the mixture and it will get clumpy in the end. So just go ahead and add about a cup at a time. With almost every recipe that I do, I add in a little bit of vanilla at this point, but I'm not going to add in any vanilla extract to this recipe. This is a simple recipe. You want to highlight the flavor of the bananas. It is a banana bread after all. You don't want any vanilla flavor to overpower it. Now we're going to go ahead and add our bananas. I am using a cup and a half of mashed bananas. This was about three large ripe bananas for me, but it might differ based on the size of bananas that you have. Give it a quick mix. For our final addition, I'm going to go ahead and add in walnuts and chocolate chips. This adds a great depth of flavor to your banana bread. You can add in any mixings you want or you can leave them completely out if that's what you prefer. At this point, you don't want to use your electric beaters. Just go ahead and use a spatula to mix everything in. I have lined an 8x4 loaf pan with parchment and I'm going to go ahead and add all of this mixture to that pan. This is going to go into a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 60 to 65 minutes. Our banana bread was in the oven for 65 minutes total. I took it out and I let it cool completely in its pan for about 20 minutes and now I'm ready to serve. It's still a little warm and I would recommend cooling it completely before you slice but I'm going to go ahead and slice it anyways. Look at that, that is so full of chocolate and so moist. I like to serve my banana bread with a cup of chai or coffee, but it goes great on its own as well. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to Refit Sasan Pokemon for more recipes in the future. See you in the next one.